Okay, let's take a look at this illustration of factorial ANOVA using Excel. Now, what we have is an experiment where we have uh, three different treatments, drug one, drug two, and a placebo, and then we're measuring the impact in terms of severity level one, which would be severe, and I'll slide on down, and there you see we have a severity level two, which would be mild. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, go to my data window, and then off to the, way off to the right, there'll be a button that says uh, data analysis. Um, let me slide over so you can see that. Okay, so I'll slide right over here. And since I've done the add-in, I can click on data analysis, right? Now I'll slide back and we'll see that it pops, uh, it pops this data analysis on the table. Okay, well this one involves a two-factor with replication um, situation. Uh, and that's because each participant is receiving all three treatments um, and that's represented by the columns of the data and the severity by the rows. So we've got some replication here. Alright, I'll hit OK and it'll say what input range. And, and I've set this up a little bit ahead of time so let me show you where we can pick. Um, the input range should go uh, actually from right here I just added row 2 as a label all the way down to the last data point. Now I'm not going to slide and show you that, but it goes down to the last row where I have data. Okay, and I'll put this back on the screen. There's 20 rows per sample, and uh, we'll we'll leave the alpha at 0.5. Now let's set the output range uh, to somewhere you can see it on the screen. So let me just set it um, right here. I'll move this out of the way. And I actually will set it here, and then I can move we hit OK and see our results. Oh, I've got one error here. Uh, the output range, there we go. It just needs F3 number in there. And then it'll drop in the table. Okay, now I'll slide over so we can take a look at it. Okay, so if I slide this down, we see we get the summary statistics at top and the ANOVA table down below. So let me put this right about here and I think we can see our results. And I just chose to put this on a sheet next to it so we could see the results. So this is the result of ANOVA with a two-factor with replication. And um, a, a couple things to point out. Excel doesn't label the sources of the variance. Uh, instead it uses general terms. So sample um, here represents um, the severity 1 and severity 2. And the columns represent the information we had on columns, which would be uh, treatment 1, treatment 2, treat, treatment 3. And interaction represents the interaction between the severity levels and uh, the treatments. Okay, now looking down here in the table, remember that uh, the, the key information we're relying on is the p-value. Now, this number there is effectively 0. In fact, if I turn all of these to three decimal places, um, that will become zero. So let's just make it to three decimal places and that's that's good enough. Okay, so the main the main statistic we want to focus on in interpreting our experiment is the p-value. And what we can see is both the sample right there and the interaction are greater than five percent. Now the sample represents the sever severity and since it's greater than 5%, we can interpret that as saying there seems to be no main effect for severity and also no main effect um, for the, the interaction. But we are seeing an impact from the treatment. And that's how I would interpret this one. Thanks, everyone.